What's going on, Rich Tamaro here, Rich on Tech, taking a look at T-Vision. This is the new cable TV service from T-Mobile. And here's the remote control that you get if you get their $50 T-Vision hub, which plugs into the back of your TV, kind of like a Chromecast. But uh, you get this great remote control with that, which, uh, let's see, can I get this to focus on there? Yeah, there we go. So you can see you get one touch uh, access to things like your guide, the T-Vision app, DVR, Netflix, YouTube, also volume up, volume down, all your directional controls, Google Assistant, and a number keypad, as well as that record button there. And so this really appeals to someone who has traditional cable TV, and they want that same experience, but sort of in a um, more forward thinking way, no cable box required. And it's something that you can literally install on your TV if you have uh, an Amazon Fire TV stick, an Apple TV, or uh, a Google TV. It does not support Roku at this point. But as, as you can see here on my TV screen here, and uh, I've got, this is with the hub. So this looks a lot like uh, Chromecast with Google TV, but this is the T-Vision hub. And you can see it just looks like the Chromecast, but you have this right here, which is your T-Vision app. And also up at the top, if you notice, you've got the guide, the DVR, and you've got a couple little things that are specific to T-Mobile. So uh, if you're looking at this, this just looks like your standard, you know, um, uh, Google Chromecast or I guess Google TV with all of your YouTube videos and all of the, uh, the free stuff. So whatever you got is, is kind of on this main screen. And of course the apps that you install are there as well. Uh, but it gets really interesting when you go into the T-Vision app because this looks a lot like cable TV. And so you've got your home, you've got your guide, you've got your shows, you've got your movies and your DVR. So let's jump into home and show you what's going on there. So when you go to home, this kind of tells you what you've got, so your services. So T TV Live, TV Vibe, Showtime. Now this is a uh, just a sample account from them. So it's, I think it has everything, yeah. Uh, Showtime, Stars and Epics. And you can subscribe to these things separately. So let me just give you the, uh, the pricing uh, information on these different uh, services. So the uh, live TV, which is kind of like their, you know, basic uh, channel package with 30 plus channels, that's going to be $40. That includes the DVR. Live TV plus will include uh, 40 channels and that's $50. And then you have the live zone, which is $60 for 50 channels. 50 plus, and then this is the cheap one. So Vibe is just $10 a month. It gives you 30 channels, including AMC, Animal Planet, Food Network, HGTV, uh, Hallmark channels, and that's just $10 a month, but it does not include the DVR. So with that, you will need to pay five bucks if you want the DVR. Then you've got these a la carte. Showtime is 10.99, Stars is 8.99, and Epix is 5.99. All right, so on this home screen, what you're seeing is a whole bunch of the stuff that's uh, on right now and available. So you can see, you know, on right now, Today Show, Kelly and Ryan, um, TMZ, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff that you can tune into in a second and instantly it's going to bring you to that channel. So once you press it, you've got play, record, or series info. But if we press play, it's going to bring us right to that channel, just like you would on a, uh, you know, standard cable you know, cable TV service. And so, okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna go back home here and we go to the home screen. This brings us back to T-Vision. And so uh, once you have that, you can see recently watched. Now let's go to the guide. Let me show you the guide because this looks identical to what you would get on a cable TV guide. And so if I go into something like Paw Patrol and go here, again, play, record, and series info, and it gives you a little preview of what the channel is playing, which is kind of nice. It's a nice little touch so that you can see what's going on and if you want to tune into that channel. And it's weird that they say play versus go, because play to me means on demand, but um, that's just a small nuance. But now let's just try to change the channel. So the channels change really fast, and I think they, uh, I mean, I love the way the channels change. It's you know, as fast as cable would be. Um, 
maybe a little bit slower, but the neat thing is you can go like this. So you can kind of look through and you know, once you find a thing that you like, it will tune into that channel and it is all streaming. This is all coming through your internet. So that's the big difference between this and what they used to have with their T-Vision Home, which you needed a separate box. You needed a cable to your house that was serviced in your area. This pretty much anyone can get with a couple of exceptions. Right now it's only open to T-Mobile customers. Later in November, it will be open to Sprint customers. And then next year, 2021, they will open it up to all customers. So if we press guide here, I think the guide is excellent. It's fast. It's very responsive. It's the, it's the experience that people like if you're going for a cable TV product. I mean, this is what you want. You want something that looks like a guide that gives you cable TV. Now, I'm not going to debate whether I think that's necessary anymore in today's day and age with all of the streaming stuff. But again, that's what you get. Now, let's go to this DVR. And you can see I've recorded a couple of shows and a couple of movies. You get 100 hours of DVR included on the higher end plans. And this DVR does work anywhere. So this app will also work on your smartphone. It will work on your tablet. It will work on your various TVs. And it's all in the cloud. So nothing is being stored on the device. It's being stored in the cloud. Let's press play, see how long it takes. And it's actually... Uh, one thing that I like is it's recording the linear feed. So it's not doing this weird thing where it's converting this into an on-demand show like some other services do. So that means that yes, you can skip through things and uh, you, know, you get this little indicator here to kind of scroll through, press play, and it jumps right to the uh, right to the part that you looked for. And I will say everything that I've seen on this app is super snappy. It is very well done. It is uh, exactly kind of like what you'd imagine cable TV unbundled from cable TV box would be like. Um, the thing is there's a lot of services that do this and there's a lot of services that do it in slightly different ways, but this is a T-Mobile add-on for their customers right now. So they're looking for the, to, you know, upsell their customers in the stores saying, Hey, you're going to cancel cable. Why don't you come over to this? It's not that expensive. And, uh, you know, it gives you all these features. Now, let me show you this on the movies. So if you, uh, go to movies here. These are all the movies that are available to you right now through all the services that you subscribe to. Now, since T-Mobile on this uh, test account gave me access to everything, there you know there's a lot of movies here, but you would see just what's available on the channels that you subscribe to, which makes it really nice because then you can actually go into here and choose a movie and you know that you can watch it. So it's not a whole bunch of stuff that you can't watch. And I'm not recognizing pretty much any of these movies, so <laughs> I don't even know where to go here. Let's see. Oh, Fletch. There we go. Okay, so new, and I can play it, I can record it, or I can get full details and see exactly where this is. Um, this is on Showtime, and I can press play, and now it's just kind of snapping right into On Demand, and I can go there. Now, because this is Google, and it is using a, a partnership with Google, you've got Google Assistant on your remote control right there. So you can do all the normal Google stuff, like... Uh, What's the weather going to be like in Tokyo tomorrow? And uh, I don't know if it's not, uh, maybe I have the volume down on this, so it didn't give me a verbal feedback, but uh, you know, you've got the weather in Tokyo and then you could do other things like show me new documentaries. And now you've got the new documentaries, which I think this Google um, Google TV or Android TV, whatever they're calling it, is really, really good for finding stuff and narrowing down. Um, it's just pretty amazing the search that they're bringing into this, especially because it's all kind of the, the magic of Google on TV. So it's taking all those streaming services that you subscribe to and it's searching across all of those. Now, unfortunately, I don't have anything really installed on here except Netflix and YouTube and the T-Vision. So I can't really get kind of like the HBO Max stuff and all the other stuff, but it would be in those results. Now, when you're in T-Vision specifically, uh, what they did was just on the hub. So this is only a hub feature, but if you go into Google Assistant on this, it will just give you results from your channel. So tune into ESPN. And so you can do something simple like that. Now, I believe you can do that from the home screen. You don't have to be in the app. Let's try it. Tune into ESPN. And yep, it's smart enough to know to go right to ESPN. Tune into Showtime. So there you go, you can easily, now there's like a thousand Showtime channels, so I don't know how you'd find the right one. But uh, now once you're in the T-Vision 
app, you can also say, show me documentaries. And I believe this should bring up just documentaries that are playing on T-Vision. And okay, that's interesting that it says Showtime isn't installed. Okay, let's try this again. Um, let's go to uh, T-Vision guide, or let's just go home on T-Vision. So let's go to the home and let's try that one more time. Show me documentaries. And let's see if it shows, oh, so that's interesting. See they, okay, so there should be a way to just see things that are inside your, um, your services. So let me try that one more time. Show me horror movies. And you'll know because up here it will say T-Vision. There it is. Okay, so now we got just the T-Vision results for horror movies. So now these are only movies that are included that we can watch right now. So Child's Play 2019, if I click this, it should bring us to the Child's Play. Yep, available on T-Vision. And so that's a nice way of searching. Uh, it looks like it needs a little bit of polish to get uh, a little bit better, but uh, one tap record, which is really nice. So you can record it right now. You can record it Friday, you can record it Tuesday. I'll record it Friday at 5 p.m. I think my demo runs out by then, so I won't be able to watch it, but um, there you have it. So you got that one click again to uh, DVR. And again, everything that I'm seeing on this, oh, and the DVR, I like that they put in the corner um, exactly how much space you have left in that DVR. And I think, let's see if we can like kind of clear out. Uh, you can make parental controls, create a profile, uh, sign out, and you are signing into this app with your T-Mobile account and phone number. So I think that everything that I've seen with this, it's a great alternative to cable. The main thing to know is that the local channels are very hit or miss. Uh, when it came to uh, what T-Mobile told me, it looks like they've got uh, a lot of, let's see, 100% of the NBC affiliates, 80% of the Fox locals, and ABC owned and operated channels they've got. And uh, right now, it looks like they've got no plans for CBS local channels. And they told me that CBS All Access will give you the locals. So I guess that's the reason for that. And of course, the station that I work for, KTLA, is not available um, as far as I can tell on this guide. Hopefully that can change, but let me just go down to the uh, first channels. There's so many channels on here. Boom, 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 there we go. Okay, so it starts on channel four, channel seven, channel 11, 13, 52, 100. And you do get a lot of channels, you know, depending on the, uh, you know, what you subscribe to. And again, the channel's nice and fast for the, the tuning in. I think that they did a great job with this. And, um, you know, you got all the channels that you need depending on what you're subscribing to. All right, so there you have it, a quick look at T-Vision. This is T-Mobile's new cable alternative. Again, launching uh, November 1st for T-Mobile customers, and then it will be on uh, mid-November mid for um, Sprint customers, and then next year it will be available to everyone. And just to refresh, you can you can get the T-Vision hub, which plugs into the back of your TV. And I guess I can, you know what, I can take that out and show you what it looks like real quick. So now that I'm done, so this is the uh, this is the T-Vision hub. That's what it looks like. So it's this little thing that just plugs into the back of your TV, and it's pretty simple. It's got this little um, you know micro uh, uh, micro USB to plug it in for power, and then you've got HDMI right here. But that is the device that goes into the back of your TV. You do not need this to get service. You can use this T-Vision service as an app on something like a Google TV or a, um, um, an Apple TV or a Fire Stick. And uh, the only one that's not supported right now is Roku. Or you can just get this and they'll probably sell a lot of these inside the T-Mobile stores when folks come in and they say, hey, you know, you can replace your cable box with this. All right, thanks so much for watching this run through of T Vision. I'm Rich Demiro, richontech.tv. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I've got this demo unit for another couple days, so I will do my best to kind of answer any questions you have, specifics that you want to know. I will uh, fire this thing back up and uh, get your questions answered. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this uh, run through. I'm Rich Demiro. Take care. Bye bye.